Hey YouTube, I want to take a look at the mobile app again today. And specifically, I want to look at a feature related to the due date that only seems to be available on the mobile app again. So I looked for it on the web app and I looked for it on the Mac app and I didn't see it. So I'm not sure why TickTick makes some of these features only available on the mobile app. Uh, some of these are pretty powerful features like what we're going to see today that I think should be part of the web app. You know, if you're going to make that feature available for the mobile app and it's a very useful, powerful feature, why not make it available for the web app and the other desktop apps as well? And the other thing about this feature is that it's fairly hidden. And that's a question I have out to TickTick. Why do you hide some of these features? Uh, you make it so hard to find some of the features that are pretty useful in my opinion. Uh, but for a user to be able to find them and know that they even exist, it, it takes some hunting. Well, anyways, let's get into it. So I'm going to pull up my mobile app here. Uh, I've got the uh, Tick Tick mobile app pulled up, and you can see that I've got my uh, Today View up. And it looks like all of my tasks in my Today View are overdue. So I'm going to take some time today, and I'm going to reschedule these. Now, I might choose to schedule them for today, or I might choose to schedule them for another day in the future. And there's a couple ways to do this, right? One is to swipe left and you can swipe left halfway and you can get three options and on the very far right is the due date selector right another option if i if i put that task back to the way it was is to swipe left all the way so i'm swiping left all the way now i get the due date picker i don't know if that's the formal name for this due date picker but uh, that's what i'm going to call it and just for completeness, let me show the other option, and that is to long press on the task. And then down at the very bottom, there's select all on the left, and then the next icon is the date picker. It gives us the options. Do we want to um, kind of reschedule this task for today? Or we can pick tomorrow, or we can pick next Monday. Another option is to just go ahead and pick, pick a date. You know, Maybe we want it to be next Sunday or something like that. And then we can also clear the date. So these are pretty good options for the most part. But I want to point out one thing. Look down below that bottom line. In very small print, it says, Long Press to Customize Settings. It doesn't tell you where exactly to, to long press either. So if I long press on the words long press, nothing happens. If I long press in the middle where there's no icon, Nothing happens. So you have to long press on one of the icons that's available. So I'm going to go ahead and long press on tomorrow. Aha, customize quick dates. So here we can customize what the quick dates will be. So you can see right now I have tomorrow selected at the top middle spot. But if I want that to be this Saturday, I can select this Saturday and it changes. Um, Another thing I can do is I can add more icons, right? So you can see that there's two rows of three, but there's also an empty third row. So let me just come down here to the first spot in the third row, and let's, let's add a new icon here. So one option I could do is I could say, I could pick a date, right? I could say it's due today, tomorrow. Let's go ahead and select tomorrow. And now you can see that there's an icon for tomorrow in that first spot in the third row. But take a look down at the bottom. There's other options besides just picking a date. We can have options to pick a specific time, uh, to repeat, to postpone. So if I want to pick a specific time to uh, schedule this task, I can click on the time option. And you can see it gives me some options today sometime. I can pick a smart time. I'm honestly not even sure what that means. I'll have to look into that a little more. Um, there's today morning, today afternoon, today evening. Uh, let's say I want to pick tomorrow morning. Now, another thing is tomorrow morning, it says 9 a.m. But for me, my morning starts a little earlier than that. My morning starts at 7 a.m. Well, again, look down at the very bottom. There's another kind of hidden option in small print, customize common time. I'm clicking that. 
And from this screen, I can actually change what those times mean. So what does morning, afternoon, evening, and night mean in Tick Tick to me? Well, like I said, my morning starts at seven, so I'm gonna change my morning time to seven, and I'm gonna click OK. Now, when I have tomorrow morning selected, it's actually gonna to be tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. And you can see in that first spot in the third row that my tomorrow morning icon is displayed there. So, all right, let's move over to um, the next spot in the third row. So I'm gonna click the middle spot. So in this case, I'm gonna look at the repeat options. So let me click on repeat. Here I've got none selected by default and there's two options, repeat and skip the occurrence excuse me, skip the reoccurrence. And you can see that skip the reoccurrence is actually already an option right there in the middle, um, the middle of the second row actually. And I'm gonna go ahead and click this I on skip the reoccurrence. So it says if the current reoccurrence of a recurring task doesn't need to be done, you may choose skip the reoccurrence to skip it. <laughs> and my only option <laughs> after reading that is to say I know. Okay, that's kind of funny actually. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pick repeat on that one and that I assume gives me a shortcut to the repeat options for a task. Let me click onto the uh, third icon for the third row and let me click over to the postpone options. So this gives me options to postpone by 10 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour. If a task becomes due, I can use postpone it by one hour as kind of a quick date. All right, so let me back out of this screen. And since I was on the uh, due date picker already, it kind of repopulates with my new options here. So you can see across the top, I got today and I also have this Saturday, which is something I changed. And down on that bottom row, I have tomorrow morning, repeat and postpone one hour. And I was just gonna click this repeat icon just to make sure that I know what that's doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click repeat. And so it looks like it gives me options to make this task repeatable. Uh, I might just click daily for now. And so now my prepare the documents task is actually set to repeat daily. So I'm just clicking into the task to uh, make sure that that's what it's doing. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, so one other thing, you might have caught it or maybe not since Tick Tick seems to hide a lot of these features. I'm gonna go back in to customize my quick dates here. So I'm gonna long press on an icon again to bring that up. Do you notice any other options here? Because in true Tick Tick fashion, they, they hit it a little bit, but up at the top again, at least this time it's in orange, um, but it's in small print again, it says switch to advanced mode. All right, so let's, we must be in the simplified mode. Let's switch to advanced mode. So if I look back up at the top, it says switch to normal mode. So we were in normal mode. Now we're in the advanced mode. And this one's a little bit different, right? So. This one's actually gonna give you the options across the top to pick a date, like today, tomorrow, repeat or pick a date. And then you can also pick a time with it. So you can pick tomorrow 9 a.m., uh, tomorrow 1 p.m. And actually, let me just um, go back to the task list now that we have enabled this advanced mode so that you can kinda see what it looks like. So I'm gonna click back. Now it brings up, this is my due date picker, right? So I'm gonna say, let me reschedule this task to tomorrow at 1 p.m. And you can see up at the top of the due date picker, it says tomorrow, February 1, 1 p.m. And now I can click OK, and that will reschedule that task for that specific date and time. Now, let me go back into those advanced options because there was a few more options I wanted to point out. So let me pull up the due date picker. Now in this case, when I'm on the advanced um, due date picker, you notice it doesn't even tell me how to get into the settings. I just have to know, right? So I'm gonna long press on an icon and it brings up the, uh, the settings here. Now you can't change the top row where you're picking a date, but you can change these times. So instead of plus three hours, let's say I want to do that uh, as plus three days, right? So that would be kind of interesting. Uh, I wanna schedule this for tomorrow plus three more days. <laughs> well, it's possible within these settings. So I'm just pointing that out here. Um, you can also say minus time, right? So if you wanna 
minus two minutes. You know, if you want to say, let me do this um, today, but two minutes ago, I'm not sure why you would use that. <laughs> Some of these settings, um, you know, TickTick gives us lots of options, right? And we appreciate that for the most part. In this case, I think they might have overdone it with this advanced uh, quick date picker. You know, I really like the, let me switch back to normal mode. I really like this normal mode. This one makes a lot of sense to me and it's customizable enough to, to do, I think, pretty much anything that you would need to do on a, on a quick basis when you're rescheduling tasks, especially with this time option and even being able to customize that common time. That allows you to pick uh, whatever time you need. Uh, once you get into that advanced mode and you're doing plus three days and minus two minutes, I'm, I'm not sure that you would ever use that, to be honest. Um, but again, this whole option is very hard to find. You know, if I go back here, you know, just by looking at this screen, you have to really look at the screen in order to be able to see that there's um, options to customize these settings. You know, the font is so small and it's gray on a dark gray background. Um, and again, these options are only available on mobile for some reason. I'd like to see some of this stuff be implemented on the desktop apps because I think this quick date picker is a great option and being able to customize it makes it even better. So why not have this available on the desktop? So let me know in the comments what you think about this feature. Had you noticed these options before? Do you use the quick date picker on the mobile app? Let me know. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.